there's no way they shut down the airlines for some flu. Yeah, babe, I told you I'm gonna be on the plane at 9 a.m. I'll be home by 7. No, you have nothing to worry about. I'm not even drinking. Okay. Yeah. Like we talked about. You know what? Work is calling. Let me call you back. Great. Do you need a fresh towel? Yeah, is that all I can get? <laughs> can I take this one? Please. How about a drink? Mr. Carlson, get you anything? Uh, yeah, I'll take a whiskey. And one of those? One whiskey coming up. Every time I see him, handsome, handsome man. I don't even know his name. I don't know where he lives, but he's still to blame for all the misery he gives me. Cause he's handsome, oh, so handsome. Gentle and sweet, knocks me off my feet every time I see him.
Another day in paradise. You know, I think my roots are gonna be dark by the end of the week. That is, if they're not already gray from all the stir craziness. Life inside is for hermits, not for me, not for us. But then I start thinking about all the first responders and the medical people and what they would give to be in my shoes right now. So I know I've said it a hundred times before, but I'll say it again. Being grateful is everything. I'm thankful for my husband. I'm thankful for this place. And of course, all of you guys. And all of you guys. And all of you. Another day in paradise. You know, I think my roots will be dark by the end of the week. Hello, Tom. John. Impressive swim. Thank you. You know it was impressive? That margarita. Well, thank you. Fresh lunches. Yeah, like I said, it makes a big difference. You were right. <laughs> Can I get you another drink? We are great. Thank you. I'm just gotta fix this quarantine hair. It's getting out of control. I uh, do not have that problem. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Does she not like us? No, she just keeps to herself. It's not just me, right? No, oh, it's. it's, it's... Hey, baby. Hey. I'm tired. Well, you're tired? You want to lay in the sun? No, I don't. Ugh, I'm just stressed. Yeah, I know. I can feel it. I'm serious, John. How long are we going to stay here? I don't know. Until it's over. I can't fly with the crones. There's no flights anyway. Mm -hmm. They're telling everyone to stay put. I mean, I don't know what else was. What is that sound? What's mama getting paid? Oh, when's Daddy get his cut? Maybe Daddy will get a tip, because this has been pretty good. It is pretty good, right? Yeah, you should quit your day job. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I, I love that joke. <laughs> what time is it? I don't know, do you have somewhere yet to be? No, I just forgot to take my pills. Mind getting them for me? They're just over there. The service here is great. I've been meaning to get off of these anyway. Yeah. This pandemic is so weird. All these empty hallways, the red lights, it gives me the creeps. Just a tiny staff and us in this huge place. I mean, how are we gonna pay for all of it? Hmm. Credit. That's not an answer. Just relax. So we have moved on to the aromatherapy portion of the massage. <laughs> That's hand sanitizer. Oh. <laughs> well, now it's back sanitizer. Okay. Mm hmm <laughs> Thank you, sir. Absolutely. 
I present to you this bottle of wine from the lower rack of the last available closet in My the kitchen. Favorite, how did you know? I just, I, you know, I took a gamble. Did you organize all of this? I had some help from Ty. It's my favorite. I know. It smells like France. Yeah, like the Seine, right? Yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I love you. Do you now, Mr. Burke? Yes, I do, Mrs. Burke. I love you too. What? No. It's 10 o'clock already? Yeah, I guess. Okay, well. Okay. <clears throat> Here's to the strangest honeymoon ever. To the best honeymoon ever. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. Speaking of strangest, this room is where they had the 1929 Academy Awards, the very first Academy Awards. And you know how they got everyone to leave at the end of the night? No. It's very strange. Tell me. They turned off all the lights. Okay. And then this big red, scary light came on. And oh, yeah. Just very quietly filed out. And You're so full of shit. It's true. No. They were all wearing masks. Not like pandemic masks, like no, of course not. Horny, horny masks. Yeah, what else were they wearing? 1929 shit. Okay. But not for long. No. Before they destroy it. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, John. Somebody just offered me $600 to take photos of my feet. Do you think I should do it? Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah? Yeah, but send pictures of my feet. Those beauties. Oh. Come on, look at those babies. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, that was great. Same? <laughs> yes. Ooh, lucky oh, us. I don't want to eat it. No. Don't make me eat it. I won't make you eat it. You think the vending machine on five still has food in it? Mmm. Well, if it does, it won't for very long. Bye.
should you be doing that? I... I'm sorry. I was looking for celebrities. Did you find any? Charlie Sheen? He counts. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. 12 days will make anybody stare crazy. Is that it? 12 days, yeah. It feels like it's been forever. Mm. Tell me about it. Hey, Ty. I... I thought that we were the only people here. Oh, we are. Look, I just wear a lot of hats, so I've let a few things slip through the cracks, but, uh... I'm gonna go fix that now. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi. Is it okay if I clean now? Yes, sure. Uh, do you need, need me to leave? No, or? no, you're fine. Okay, thanks. Will you tell me your name again? Uh, it's Adela. Adela, right. Where are you from? Poland. Got it. Um, maybe I should clean the upstairs first. Sure. No, I've never been to Poland. Where, what town are you from? So this building is from 1927, and Ty said that this ceiling is original. Do you think they ever clean it? I don't know. It's probably pretty dusty. Have you been cooking the food? Yeah, is it good? It's, yeah, good. Thank you. Oh, that's my uh, mustache coat. Mm -hmm. Sarah likes the warm, I don't like. That was, you get it. Sometimes food gets caught in the, in the mustache and you can get it out this way. It's also just kind of calming. Did you write this? Uh, I'm just noodling. Is there a word in Polish for noodling? Um, yeah. It's uh, pogorywać. It's pogorywać. Po? Po? Gry. Gry. Wać. Wać. Pogorywać. Pogorywać. Oh, that's, oh, I'm not done with that. Oh, that's, I'm yeah. so sorry. That's okay. It's okay. Pogrevach. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Right. See you later. See ya.
Hello. Um, I was wondering if I could have a boo. Great, thank you. Damn, that was fast. And I'm so sorry, I'm such a klutz. Um, so, is your family still in Poland? No. Do you miss it? There's nothing for me there. Ty. John. How are you? Not too bad. Ty. What is Ty short for? Ty is short for Ty. Got it. You know, I could have brought this to you, right? Yes, but I wanted to have the bartender patron experience across <laughs> the bar. I tell you all my troubles and, uh, and you listen. <laughs> I miss that. Well, here you go. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. I thought you wanted the full bar experience. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I, uh... Ugh. I haven't been to the Old West lately. So. <laughs> Sorry, man. You know, actually, that was our last beer, too. But I can get you, um... Okay. Bourbon? Or... Bourbon on the rocks. That's what I want anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, I bet this bar is just usually so well-polished, though, that you could actually just... Perfectly execute the slide. Uh, you know, you gotta do the best what you got. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Cheers, sir. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Cheers, sir. My wife is upstairs having one of her 45 minute, 90 minute showers. Right, right. Well, you know, time doesn't seem to matter anymore, so might as well make the best of it. That's true. Nobody's doing anything right now. Nobody's got a job. I don't have a job to get back to, so. What were you doing before all this? Uh, just kind of moving money around from one place to the other. Very boring. Very boring to talk about. It would be boring if I tried explaining it to you. Well, I mean, come on. Got all the time in the world. Pretty bright guy. Oh, well, you're definitely bright. I just, you know what? I would be bored if I tried explaining it to you, I think. <laughs> but, you know, it was time to move on. Mm. You know what it's like. Well, actually, I've been here for 15 years. You've been here 15 years? Yeah. Congrats, nice work, good for you. Thanks, man. I have never been anywhere 15 years. I get restless, Ty. Oh. You know? Well, you know, if uh, you put a little hard work in and some dedication, you might find it fulfilling. That's not, it's, I work hard. I have discipline, it's just I, uh, I get, I just get restless, that's all. Yeah, well, you know. I started as a bellman, but now I'm a... The bartender, yeah. That's great. The general manager. And I worked hard to get here. Uh-huh. Thank you for the drink, Ty. That's not that hard. Oh! <clears throat> Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You didn't see it. Okay, so I saw it. it was a strike. It was well, a strike. Then. Okay. It was a strike. You know. Oh. Most people, you know, they Hello? watch the person that Hi. they're playing. Hi. No, so nice to hear you. When they're you. having a game with them, they tend to watch them. Of course. No, that's that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. Um, why don't you just send me the details and I'll have a look through them. Okay. Thank you so much. Baby. So you're not playing anymore, so this is my ball now, I guess. Guess what? What? That was Bellingham. Who's he? Bellingham Industries. Bellingham Industries? You mean like the hand dryer people? They do lots of other stuff. Oh, OK. They do toasters, coffee machines. You love their coffee machines. Toasters? Do the toasters blow air back up in your face when you're trying to dry your bread? 
This is a big deal for me. Can you just be happy? I am so happy for you. You're gonna get 500 bucks to take a picture of a toaster. I think it's great. Well, it's like $20,000 for sure. Hey, what? What's that? They're gonna give me $20,000. For one picture? I'm a big deal. Why are you surprised by this? People like me, John. I know they like you. I like you too. That's great. I'm, that's awesome. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, no. So what'd you get? Come on. Did you break the machine? No, I didn't break the machine. But I will fix the machine. I'm telling Ty. Don't tell Ty. Dear Ty. You don't have Ty's number. You're full of shit. Vintage. It breaks down all the time. Uh huh. This is all gonna end, but I'm here for you, okay? I'm here for you right now. That counts for something, right? What's out there is scarier than what's in here. Just take a deep breath. We're gonna be out of here before we know it.
Hey. Hey, sleepyhead. Starting with squats? Uh, actually, I'm almost done. What do you mean? I mean, I'm, I'm finished. Sorry. I thought you wanted to, were we going to do this together? I figured you didn't want to. Okay. Well, tomorrow. This machine's broken. Oh, hi. Hey. Look what I got. Ah, oh, productive day. It was really, actually, very. You want one? An apple? A drink. Um, no, I'm, I'm good. It's a little early for me, but you go for it. Oh, I did. I know. Don't sulk. I'm not sulking. <laughs> Oh, Sputnik. 
Hey, John. Mm -hmm. Um, do you think that sometime soon you're gonna, I don't know, start looking for a job or something? Hmm. Well, I was thinking about that today, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Never came to mind. Oh, what do you mean? No one's working. There's no jobs to be had anyway, so That's what's... not true, John. People are working. I'm working. I work every day. Well, I mean, you post online and then you get an income from that. That's a different way from... Oh, right, because my job isn't a real job. Because I'm not saying it it's is. not working. It's different from what you're talking about with regards to my kind of right, work, right? Right, because yours is a real job. I didn't say it was real. No, you don't have to say it. You're insinuating it. No, look, it's not real. My job is no more real than yours. My don't job takes up. a lot of work. I have to build relationships. I have strategies. I have to look at analytics. I have to, you know, reach out to sponsors and get packaged. What, what isn't real about that to you? I'm not shitting on it. I'm telling you, here's this is going to blow your fucking mind. Here's what I actually want to do. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Stand up for this. I am going to take video of myself playing guitar, playing my songs, and I'm going to post that online, and we will be a power influencing couple. Oh, okay, cool. So you're just going to play your guitar, and then when you get bored of that and you leave me, you're going to do what? Go travel? But like, well, what's next, John? Who fucking cares? I don't know. I care. You have no motivation, you have no ambition. It's just like so boring living with you. You just wake up and just exist. I'm boring you. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. You've been in those sweatpants for the last, what, three weeks? You haven't shaved off that fucking mustache. What is your problem with the mustache? I hate it. It's an homage. To what? It's stupid. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why you give a shit what I do on a day-to-day -day basis when you know that you're gonna be taken care of no matter what. That's my fucking job, is taking care of you emotionally and digging you out of your fucking sad hole that you bury yourself in, and then you come out because I took care of you that entire time, and then you get to take a video and pretend to be little princess fucking happy pants. So you can lie to them and fucking prostitute yourself for like 600 bucks here and 700 bucks here and pretend to be the happy-go-lucky little wow. queen of fucking curated narcissism. But uh, I know who you really are. You're, yep, see, you're the sad girl who goes and stares out of windows. Am I gonna have to dig you out of your little hole now? It looks familiar. I'm going to bed. Is it a little early for that? Okay.
Okay. We spent our day here, of course, at the pool, and John, he's perfected it. Twice a day. Three times if it's windy. It used to drive me mad. I would scrub and scrub and scrub. But the dust would always return, transported by some sinister gale. At what moment is it that clean becomes dirty? Nothing's ever really dirty, if you think about it. I mean, the clean is still there, it's just underneath it all. The dirt just covers it. People are the opposite. People have the dirt on the inside. Try to cover it up with the clean. Um, is this... is this your room? <laughs> you think I sleep on the floor? I'm not an animal. No, sorry, I didn't mean that, I just no, no, meant no. that maybe... I get it. I'm the creepy maid. I quietly hone the holes, clean the sheets, can cook to save my life. I know what you say about me. But the reason why I'm here is to make you feel like guests, to take care of you, to serve you, and most importantly, to help get you out of your sad hole. So just because I keep What to did myself... you just say? You heard me. Have you been watching us? Who's been watching who, Sarah? What the fuck? Sorry, can I have that? Okay, thanks. So why are you sleeping here? Um, my wife is... Uh... Mad at me. I've been kind of an asshole.
I should probably get dressed. Hey guys, happy Gratitude Tuesday. We spent the day here, of course, and John, well, he's been, um, he's been good. He's been great. We've been, we've been great. This is the honeymoon from hell. Now I'm pretty much stuck here because John's a piece of shit and he won't let me leave. And now I'm talking to the phone like, I'm gonna respond to him. He's like, fuck this. talk about it it's okay I don't know what I was trying to do there Ty I'm really sorry you don't have to apologize sometimes we all need a little break A little while ago, I, things weren't going very well for me. And um, John was really there for me when nobody else was. You know, he, he helped me through a really, really rough time. And now I feel like he's falling apart and, and I don't know what to do. And, you have a few, like, you could just wish that you could turn back time. Like a do-over? Yeah. Yeah. All the time. You know, my um, grandmother used to say this thing to me. In this moment, you have everything you need. And life is just a series of moments. You can't go back, you can't stay where you are. You have to just move forward. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. You can't judge me. No judgments here. Sometimes I really don't like John. Can I tell you a secret? Sometimes I don't like him either. <laughs> <laughs>
That bed's really uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I guess you could come back then. Really? Sorry. I'm sorry. I missed you. I missed you. Did you get your workout in? Mm hmm. Did you want to join me? No. <laughs> hey. Adela coming in here anymore. Why? I saw her do something really weird. What? In the kitchen. Why were you in the kitchen? I was stealing food. You were stealing food? Yeah. Well, that was your idea. That was my idea like a month ago. Okay, well, anyway. She was in the kitchen and she was staring at the phone. Right. And then the phone rang. Mm -hmm. And she answered it. <laughs> okay. Right. Doesn't sound that weird to me. And then she just, with her car, she just ran past me. Like, shot past me. I mean, that just sounds like none of our business. It was four o'clock in the morning. Still? It's really strange. Okay, it's, she, maybe she's really strange. Look, if she doesn't come in here, how's this place gonna get cleaned? We could do it. I, I am not cleaning a suite on my vacation. This is not a vacation, it's a pandemic. All right, it's, we're trying to make the best of it, right? Right. Look, I think that you have a tendency when you get restless or bored to create dramas and adventures for yourself. And I think it would be better if you just relaxed. Mm -hmm. If you could just enjoy yourself. What can I do? How can I help you? Well, John, why don't you just stay here and do nothing? Because that's what you're good at. And I'll just see you later. Uh -oh. Where are you going? To harass the staff. What did you want to happen? I mean, what did you think was going to happen? I saw what was happening. I know what you're doing. And this has gone too far. You don't even know him. What does it matter if I know him? Whoa, whoa. Look, John, there's a lot you don't know. And I, I, I don't have time to explain it to you. Okay, look, I'm sure it's none of my business, but maybe you should take a minute and cool off. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine.
Hey. Miss Burke. Hey. What's the matter? What happened to you? Well, I was napping. What is she doing here? What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm cleaning. Oh, really? She's cleaning. Uh, we need some privacy, thanks. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm glad you're okay. Just wanted to stop by and check on you, make sure you're okay, and offer you this compliments of the house. Oh, mm. thank you. Mm. Um, well, there's no way we're gonna finish this all by ourselves, so. No, no, no. This is for you. This is for you guys to enjoy. We, we, we really should be going. No, Here. please. Great. Okay. Uh, okay. Great. Great. Look, guys, I'm, I, I'm really sorry about before. You know, sometimes what my eyes see and, and what my mind perceives are, are two completely different things. I think that this time I just let my imagination run away with it. So I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna go get the wine. Okay. under a lot of stress for pretty obvious, understandable reasons, but it's hard not to be when you're reading the news. Thank you. I was just reading today about, did you, you heard the, about the thing with the fingernails where apparently fingernails can just fall off? That's a new symptom if you just, you snap and they could fly across the room. Are you serious? Uh, that, and there was another one too. It was um, uh, just like extreme annoyance with people that you're living with. <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> oh, that's funny, it's a good joke. No, it was a bad joke. No, 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 it was a good joke. Tell me another. I'm just kept away from my family, but you got jokes. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was uh, that was inconsiderate. How's your family? I'm stuck. How's my family? <laughs> Do you care how my family is? Really, honestly, truly, how is my family? <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know what? I'm sorry. That's not. Funny. Hey, how how is the cheese? It's good. It's good. Okay. Sorry, Ty, I just I try to make friendly conversation. I know. I just don't understand why, because we are not friends. You know? We're not boys. We're not bros. I'm, I'm working here in service of you. I'm actually working here trying to protect you. But your head is so far up your ass, you don't even know what old girl is up to. But I was trying to warn you, you see. But now I'm just the angry black man yelling in the hotel room. Do you need any help over there? Yeah, no, no. She needs some help. She needs all the help she can get. Ain't that right? You need major help. You know what? I don't care. Do whatever you want to. Whatever you want to do. You want to eat him? You want to bleed him like a pony? Or whatever the fuck you do in that room? Go ahead, be my guest. Look, I'm sorry, I just, I, I can't go to jail. I have a family. I have a wife. I have responsibilities. And now look at me. I'm trying to protect you, trying to save your ass. Who's gonna protect me? Who's gonna save me? I think you should go now. 
Oh, it's time to go. You're ready to go now. You, you, you're done with all of this. Yeah, I think it's time to go. We should go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Well, eat the fucking cheese! Okay. <coughs> Stop him. Where? The basement. You gotta get your husband. And you gotta get out of here. Go. Go. I'm so sorry. Go. so I played along, but now I realize I'm not in control. Maybe I never was. Am I a bad person? No, Adela, you're not a bad person. Just need a little help. You wanna come out? No, Joe. I think you need help. What do I need help with? Come to me. Adela, where are you? Look, I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? No one's gonna hurt you, we just wanna help. Adela.
rest you, Chris. Let your body rest and slip away. Become nothing so your mind can drift. Clock here for you. Your eyes. There's nothing more noble than dedicating your life to serving another. You are my guest now. And I am here to serve you. Do you like it? <gasps> I made it for you. He didn't resist me. He needed me. And so did I. Nasty boy. Get up, sweetie.
Just like John will. <laughs> and just like you will. There is nothing else you need to do. Alice! Please! Quiet down. Thank you.